Hello. Um, welcome everyone to uh, the, the show. Welcome to the channel. Um, in this video today, we're going to, well, I'm going to draw. Um, let's bring my desk cam up. And, uh, hey, how you doing? How you doing, Dave? Good to see you. Um, is there a nickel? Do you hear an echo? Um, but yes, today we're going to uh, draw and I'm going to work on this uh, um, this uh, thumbnail that I did, um, yes, a few days ago. And I'm going to draw this character. Yeah, there's an echo. Just give me a second. Hello? Hello, is that better? What's going on, Artbart? How you doing, Jimmy? Genuine comments. Um, please let me know if there's an echo. I have no idea. Thank you. I'm sorry, this is my second time doing this and I still can't figure out the uh, the sound on this but but yes uh, so today i'm going to uh, draw uh, this character that i sketched on a few days ago this is for ballad of the celestials the name of the character is Shh, that's the name and um then we to draw him so let's get started trying to uh, continue with this idea that I presented um, a few days ago with uh, with uh, proportions. So this is why I did this particular pose. So you will be able to see from the head all the way to the toes just uh, what the correct uh, proportion should be. Um, so that's, that's, that's the idea with that. Good morning, Arthur. How are you doing? How are you doing? And, um, I don't know, it's too much to, to uh, reveal, but uh, tomorrow I'm going to have Artwork on the channel. And I'm going to interview him and talk about his comment. I'm going to ask some questions. Thank you. 
Hey, what's going on, J-Bot? Thank you very much for swinging by. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much, J-Bot. Much, much appreciated. Yeah, I'm sure you can get done in an hour. Oh, um, I have a guest. Man, I got the strangest feeling you guys can hear in that room. This is just this. Stuff. Sorry about the avatar there. Yeah, no, no worries. Whenever you're ready, just um, let me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm uh, yeah, I'm already on. Uh, I'm already live, I think. But uh, yeah, yes, yeah. you are. Let me, let me just. Uh, don't worry, man. Don't worry. Just getting things done. What's up, Thanks, man, for having me on the show. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to draw right now. I'm uh, I'm doing a pinup, but uh, there's boobs. I don't know if I can show that. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah. yeah. But uh, uh, let me see. I don't have nothing to do traditionally. Uh, let me see. This page is done. Ah. Well, we can just chat. <sighs> yeah, that will be. Yeah, I can. I can continue the the pin up, and I can. Uh, I'll turn on the camera. But let me see if I have something that I haven't finished that I can be. I don't like to be with the avatar. I, I like to uh, I like people see me because I like to see people. I don't like with their, uh, with their avatar, so. Yeah, and for anybody so, what, see, what's new what's more new? the artist and creator of the comic called Sin Killer. Uh, he he did a comic uh, last year, um, and he's currently on his second book this year. It's currently funding on Indiegogo. I can share for a moment uh, his work. Yeah, thank you. Uh, let me see if I have something here. Yeah, here is the comic, The Sin Killer, with the uh, Ripper of Souls. This is yeah, currently the Ripper of Souls. It's got seven days left. That's, this, to be seven uh, that's the second book. Yeah. This is a new series. Forget about the number two over there. Just the... Uh, Forget about number two. That's the first book of the story of a. Uh... Yeah, I think the first one is like an introduction to the world, and then this one is like the first story of an ongoing of a four-part series. I think yes. Yes, yes, indeed, indeed, Elliot. That's. It. Yes, great. Uh, I read uh, yeah, what you sent me, and it was really good, really, really good. 
Thank I you. like the, your work with scenery. Like, for example, if you take a look at this panel, you can't zoom in here, but if you take a look at this panel here, this was beautiful. This was Thank really you. nice also here. And um, and then, yeah, really brought, you dive into a really nice uh, re revenge type story, I think you could say. Yes. Really good. Really good. Thank you. Oh, what the hell? I'm going to uh, to do finish a page that I have there because uh, digitally I'm I'm working on uh, on getting a gig for a a horror story, but I can show it now. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, I can show you how we're doing another thing. Hey, my sister's in the stream. Hello. How you doing? Thank you for stopping by. So yeah, today I got today I got the bags, the bags for the comics, and uh, and I got the backboards. So that I can print them because every every backer will have, have uh, some goodies that I'm working on right now, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited because I got the backboards and uh, they look very good. And I'm going to do some stuff Friday. Hopefully, I'll, I'll go to town and uh, I'll print some stuff to put in the campaign. Okay, so yeah, it's awesome. yeah I remember um, in the last campaign you gave us art and we had some art. Yeah, yeah, I gave art, but this this the uh, original, but this time uh, I did most of the most of the comic uh, digitally. So uh, I just did uh, three pages traditionally to sell on the, to sell in the campaign. And uh, right now, uh, I have those three pages, but I have already sold the um, the cover. I sold okay. the cover. Yeah, uh, it was the first thing that I that I uh, sold uh, for the comic was the the cover because uh, I had to make a deal with the collector because he wanted oh, wow. and. Uh, to know if I'm going to, if I was going to make the, the this book that I was uh, starting, and uh, then I I told him, yeah, I'm working right now on Gabriel, and uh, I want to uh, I want to launch it soon, and he said, well, if you uh, if you do a cover for me and you publish it, I'll buy it. So yeah. What I did, I did a cover that you saw, and uh, yeah, already in the United States, in the hands. And yeah, yeah man, I'm uh, super happy because uh, people like it. And uh, oh, my wife is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah wife, she uh, says that my book is chat. awesome. Ms. Linda, how you doing? How are you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, your wife and my sister's in the stream. <laughs> nice. We didn't give the links to our family members to come support us. No. <laughs> um, let's, see, let's see what Mars doing. Oh, I'm finishing a, a page for the, for the campaign. This is a page number three. Without lettering, you can see that uh, next to me, the, the of uh, the of uh, Elephant Cora, uh, my wife, my wife's name over there. And uh, yeah, uh, really, I really uh, think that uh, uh, the stress is hitting me at the last days of the campaign. <laughs> I'm already funded, but you know, uh, we, all, we, we always want to, uh, to do a better job than the one that we had last time. So uh, 
I would love to, to do better than the last campaign. So yeah. this last few days will be a little bit more stressful. But but yeah, I, I don't, if you are uh, your audience uh, from Peru, more, more, uh, or uh, do you have um, do you have uh, no, people in my state? The people from Twitter, I think. Um, my sister's not in Peru; she's in the U.S. And uh, I'm pretty sure James J. Bot is in the U.S. I know Dave is in um, is in Europe. If I'm not mistaken, he's in Holland. I'm sorry, the oh, okay. Netherlands. And Netherlands, yeah. That's we call it Holland too here. Yeah. And um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, because, uh, everybody... yeah, because I thought that we were, uh, were going to speak in Spanish. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> ah, no, no, no. No, no, I, I really because 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 I don't speak Spanish for years, man. I, I grew up uh, uh, in France, and my nanny was uh, um, her name was Carmen. She was uh, yeah. from Spain, I don't know from where, but uh, I started uh, speaking f uh, Spanish since I was a, a little kid. Uh, and then when I came to, to Portugal, uh, we were able to, to see here. Uh, I, I live nearby the border, so uh, Spanish for me is my, my second language, basically. And then uh, I started when I when I start going, the, you know, our fifth grade, I started to learn um, English in school, at school. But uh, yeah, Spanish is, uh, I really enjoy Spanish. Yeah, yeah, I had to learn a lot. Um, and, and to get better at it also, um, I had to improve my Spanish also when I came here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good stuff, man. And just in case anybody's curious what I'm drawing, I'm drawing this character. This is from the campaign of Ballad of the Celestials. This is uh, currently in demand. And this is from... Wow. And And I joined his well, draw stream one time in the morning a few weeks ago. Yeah, that's insane, sketching. man. Yeah, and I started sketching Can you move a little bit here that you see on the screen. Mm -hmm. on Can the you move screen. a little bit down, down, please? Because I saw something that really reminded me a cover, if I'm not mistaken. Go down? Yeah, yeah, please. This. Let me see. I have a, I have a, a, a delay here. Yeah, yeah. Wolverine versus Captain America by uh, yeah, yeah. This is the homage uh, by Max I love when people does that. I love the homage to 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 covers uh, old school Marvel and DC stuff. I really enjoy it. And uh, one of these days, I I'll do one 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 homage too. Maybe for a stress goal or something. Yeah, that's insane, man. That's insane. Yeah, he did a really good job with that, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna put... Saw this campaign. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, really good stuff. I, I backed this book also. I got the digital here. And uh, yeah, good stuff. And so I'm drawing this character because I, I, I drew him um, by chance. I was in the... I was in the stream and I, I didn't want to show off any other art, so I drew that and um yeah so here's the, here's the continuation because i only have like a sketch of it so i want to finish it up mm -hmm. what's going on replicant good morning and, how you doing and then Sorry. and we are going to to see your own comic yeah i'm going to uh use this channel to reveal uh, art and uh, for the for my stuff too um I'll show you behind uh, when this when the show's over. I'll show you uh, some some behind the scenes stuff. But uh, but yeah, I'm okay, drawing right great. now characters um, awesome. that are going to appear in the, in the comic. I think it's going to be four issues. Uh, the way that I'm writing it, and mm -hmm. we'll see what the uh, what the editor says. And, and then yeah, hopefully uh, at the end of the year, I'm going to do like a big reveal of all of the characters. 
the name of the uh, the name of the comic and give you an idea of what the of what the story is about. Yeah, that will be awesome. Yeah, 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 and for the people in the chat and Marv has been a great inspiration for me because from the very first moment that I got on Twitter, uh, Marv has always been um, uh, praising the artwork that I put out, uh, saying wonderful things about it. And he's also been telling me, um, yeah, what are you going to do your work? When are you going to do your book? When are you going to do your book? And, uh, and he yeah. keeps uh, hyping me up to do my stuff. And yeah, it's, I always uh, am yeah. very uh, grateful for Marv's uh, support in that sense. He's always been telling me, oh, man. you got to do your stuff, you got to do your stuff, you got to do your stuff. And, and yeah, so I'm finally uh, doing it. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I get to share this with Mark. He's been a big support, man. All right, I just wanted to let the people in the chat know. Right, man. And you too, man. I'm very honored. And by the way, people, this was uh, Elliot that did. This is my first uh, fan art. And I, uh, I had to put this on the, on the first thing killer book. So Elliot did a wonderful job. Uh, yeah, it's, it had to be in the book. So yeah, thank you. And yeah, now I'm, uh, I'm with the ferry and ants, uh, with Mike Chimmy in the Netherlands. And, uh, he's, um, printing this on, uh, oversized. And uh, looks great, man. The, the the size is amazing. I really enjoyed the the type of um, you know the, the type of the, the quality that it has the the paper and uh, yes, just 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 great to see this in such yeah, a I huge I, I size. Those, uh, images yeah. whenever when um, that's that's great. You that's first started with them. Yeah. Very lucky. Uh, can't wait to send uh, to send Gabriel uh, to print. Everything is ready. You you saw the you saw the you saw the book already, and uh, that's the fi almost the final cut because my, uh, Mike found a couple of stuff that should. Um, should be uh, taken care of. So well, he's doing that. And uh, hopefully very soon I'll, I'll send to mix some UK and put it over there and then uh, do the shipping from here, from Portugal. That uh, very, very cheap here. Very cheap, very cheap. Uh, if I if I want to back a, a comic from the United States, it will be an average between uh, between uh, man. If you think about shipping, it's around thirty thirty five uh, dollars. Well, then I have uh, yeah. Then I have the book, and then I have to pay twenty three percent in customs if I want to get it. So. The thing is, if I don't have any proof whatsoever that that package is for me, besides my address, the package will go back. So let's say that I back your book. I have mm -hmm. to prove that I, that I paid. I have to have some kind of uh, receipt. And uh, if you offer me something, I have to prove that it was a gift. Because if I can prove by messenger, any kind of, uh, I don't know, email, a recording of a conversation, whatever, I won't get the package. That's so stupid. That's pretty so awesome. stupid. Yeah. And uh, every campaign, if I back a campaign, it will, it will be around $55 to $60 average. So if it's huge. <laughs> it's huge for a for a, for a comic. It's huge. Yeah, yeah, that sounds that sounds like a lot. 
Yeah, but here, here in Portugal, we, uh, we don't have that problem when it comes to shipping because comics are considered books. They are books, right? So uh, the government said that uh, everything that is a book will have a huge, uh, good discount. And uh, we can make um, the shipping very, very cheap, uh, $10. Uh, United States, uh, oh, uh, worldwide, actually. And um, the thing is that um, it won't take too much time to, to for people to get it because uh, I've sent the cover and the proof of the first book and it got in, uh, to the United States uh, in uh, two weeks. Last year, it took a month. I don't know what happened. My, my books went to... The books that I sent to, to a couple of them that I sent to the United States by myself uh, went to uh, Jamaica. I don't know why. Maybe they put something there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was weird. Last year it was very weird. I've seen a, I've seen a few times also when they send it to places that have nothing to do with uh, the destination or where it's coming from. Yeah, very weird. And by the way, if uh, you like Korean drama comics, uh, Mike Jimmy, my editor, is uh, on the Kickstarter with uh, the Radiant site. Uh, beautiful artwork. Uh, if you like manga, you will enjoy that um, that style. The style is very, very, very unique. Not unique, but Mike Jimmy's. Yeah, yeah, Maximis. Yeah, yeah, he's got a, a Kickstarter um, project we love, actually. Uh, I don't know nice. how he's... Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we will land soon. Next week we'll, we'll end uh, our campaigns. And let's hope that uh, everything goes smoothly for both of us. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to... Uh, can't wait to to send the, the singular to the to the printer, man. I, I'm dying for that. Yeah, hopefully, the, hopefully it happens soon. Oh yeah. <sighs> so, what's your plans when it comes to art? Do you have? Uh, we have something for the next couple of weeks or months to, to do? Uh, for art? Yeah. Um, uh, no, I'm just... Uh, right now, I'm in the process of uh, writing my comic. I finished writing the first issue. Mm -hmm. I finished writing the second issue. And I think I have maybe wow. two more issues to write so I can complete the story that I'm trying to uh, create. And... Um, Right now, I'm just focused on the writing. I'm doing this uh, drawing because I need to like draw. I've been, I, I think I stopped drawing for like about a week, and I don't want to, I don't want to stop drawing for too much. So, um, yeah, I'm picking the pencils back up so I can continue uh, working and not losing, uh, you know, not losing, not losing momentum. Yeah. Yeah, that, that happens. And, um, and yes, yeah, so I'm doing this fan art, and depending on um, how much time I have, I mean, I want to continue work doing some more fan art and also have to sketch. I'm sorry, also have to draw, a, I feel like about four or five characters that, I've, um, that I have been, that I have pending because I have to finish a bunch of the work that I started. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and yes, for the people in the chat, um here what i'm doing is uh, this is what i consider the underdrawing like getting this bigger work first i try to work on this as much as i can before i start doing the, um, the costume de stuff details but just to mm -hmm. have an idea of where i'm at with this uh, for the people in the stream and the people that are watching this again is that something that you do um, Mark, is that something that you do? Hmm? 
when you're working on figures, uh, what is your process? Um, I used to do like uh, you're doing right now, uh, but now I sometimes I go directly to the inks. Wow. Uh, yeah, if uh, if it's uh, let's say if it's uh, uh, a panel with a face and shoulders, I go directly to the to the inks. But if it's a, a full body, uh, yeah. it, if it's a full body, I do what you're doing. You know, I make the structure of the of the form, and uh, I I do some background. Um, but uh, if it's um, if it's just something like uh, shoulders uh, till the waist, sometimes most of the time I, I go directly to the wing to the inks. Uh, you can see that that uh, I have a couple of deep videos on my on my channel on YouTube, but uh, uh, I rarely put their uh, content because I hate editing and. Uh, it takes me much time to uh, make a video. So basically, I, I draw on my tablet, and then sometimes I post it on uh, on Facebook how I did stuff. Like uh, one of the last pages that I did, the um, one that you can see uh, the cop cars and uh, the cops arriving to the murder scene, to the crime scene. Yeah. Uh, that scene, I, I, I everything I did. Uh, I, I uh, sketched the, the entire page with pencils. I had that in, uh, in on Facebook, uh, and then uh, I I start inking uh, directly over the the sketch. But it, it depends, man. It depends if it's a uh, if it's a, um, a, what I consider a fast drawing. I go basically right into inks. If he's got to, uh, if I have to structure a page, I'll do the pencils first. It depends on the mood, you know. I know what I have to do, but it really depends. It really depends. I'm not saying that I I do this and do that uh, as uh, a method. The of the drawing. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends. Yeah. Okay. But most most of the time, I I uh, I. Uh, I, when it's when it's for instance a pinup like I'm doing a pinup of U Uriel right now, um, I structured her body first, but then the the rest is basically just uh, loose pencils, and then I um, I go right into into wings. In that video, I haven't finished yet. <laughs> I haven't finished the, the drawing, but hopefully this week I'll. I'll finish it. Yeah. Yeah, because um, I'm assuming that the scenes when you have the police cars, when you have the, the streets and the buildings, it might take a little bit more time to, uh, to sketch out first, I think. Yeah, yeah. It was, sketching was, 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 was uh, to do the pencils is always the, the easiest part. But then when you have to combine the the, the, the pen pencil with the inks and then you see that something is off and you take them up because that, that panel was the last one to finish because uh, I'm not I take too long I take too much time in bad environment like uh, like uh, everything that is not organic that is not alive I take too much time if it doesn't have human form or an animal form you know I can I can draw fast uh, I can draw uh, a stone angel, uh, fast, faster than drawing a, 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 a like a, a street, you know, yeah. uh, perspectives and, and all that, and all that uh, thing is a, is a little bit. You have to look at things and and try to put put them in a way that it doesn't look weird. And that perspective for me, I had a, always a, a huge problem with that. When it comes to animals and and uh, humans, not so much. Some angles, of course, there are some angles that yeah. are easier than others. But uh, yeah, cars, I hate drawing cars. I love drawing helicopters uh, and planes, but I don't like cars. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, uh, that's it. A simple form yeah, sometimes. Perspective is yeah. yeah, perspective is a, is a bitch. Yeah, indeed. Uh, let me show another page that I have here. I don't know if I'm going to look more on that page or not. I just want to say hi yeah. to people that just joined in the chat. Hey, how you doing, Vengeance? What's going on? How you doing? Good to see you, man. Thank you for stopping by. Hey, Odin, yeah, how you doing, man? Guten Morgen. I'm assuming that's Dutch. I don't know, but good morning to you, man. What's going on? I'm watching everything on my phone, so I'm sorry if I don't if I don't comment or respond to any questions because I'm I'm str on uh, Streamyard right now, and I'm watching everything on my phone. So uh, if anyone have a question, please uh, let Elliot know because uh, I'm not watching the <laughs> I'm not watching the stream on YouTube. <laughs> So yeah, this is another page, page two that I uh, that I finished linking in one of my streams with uh, with Mike. Uh, page two, everything is uh, blown. And uh, I think this one is page uh, I don't remember. Uh, uh, I forgot. <laughs> These are the pages that I've got. Uh, I have another another page, but that one I haven't started. It's already uh, sold out on the campaign, but I have to finish that one till September. That's the, but I'm going to finish it uh, earlier, of course. But uh, yeah, I just have to finish one, one more page, and uh, I can start Michael, Hunter of Men, the second chapter of the, of the singular. Uh, mini series, and then I'm done. So this first story puts the emphasis on Gabriel, and the second one puts the emphasis on Michael. Is that? Yeah. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah. This is a. Uh, this this uh, is gonna be. This one is a uh, is introduction of uh, of Gabriel, the Raven, but uh, just a small introduction of what he what is his personality and what he can do. The second one will be about um, Michael, the Doberman, that he will be um, he will be going to uh, save a little girl that uh, will be kidnapped, a friend of his. Uh, he will have to wait till till uh, the sun goes down to um, unleash his pack. Because during the day he's a, a normal dog, but when the night comes, he becomes that demon. And um, you'll see a little bit of um, you'll see a little bit of what he can do, and uh, you'll see his past, where he came from. Then the third one will be a mixture of uh, of everybody. And uh, the last one I want to focus on John. On the priest, uh, where he came from, uh, where he grew up, and um, he's an orphan. Nobody knows where he came from, and I uh, just showed up, showed up on the on, on the on the church on the church, the church uh, stairs, and uh, it's going to be a struggle between uh, being what he is and. Uh, be what he thought that he was going to be because he wanted to be a priest because his father was a priest his uh his uh, adoptive father was a priest so he wanted to be a priest but uh then he became a priest but things doesn't go as we want uh, and uh, he becomes this entity and uh yeah, that's that's the, the story that I want to tell. And then close chapter four, and uh, and move on to to the next IP that I have. I have two more IPs that I want to work on. One is already finished. Uh, 
20, a 32 page book, sorry, uh, that I wrote in 2019 called The Witch, another horror story. And then I have uh, God's Pack about uh, Navy Seals, werewolves, and aliens. That, that's, that's another one that I'm working on. And I would love to do that one too. But the witch, the witch is a is a project that I that I want to as bad as I want to put this missing killer out. Uh, the witch is uh, another IP that I really, really, really think there's going to be uh, a very cool story to tell. Sounds good, man. You got a lot of ideas uh, in my lot of projects that are coming up. Good. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, listening to heavy metal <laughs> and watching horror movies. Yeah, get your brain going. always give me, <laughs> yeah, always, always. It's very, it's very cool to, uh, to come up with, uh, with the stories because that, that's what we do. We, we are storytellers and we want to put our stuff out, right? And uh, have fun and let people have fun with the stuff that uh, that we do. Definitely, man, I completely agree. Odin says, nice work. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good, guys. Thank you very much, J-Bot. Thank Rick you. Taylor, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. And, uh, and yeah, just for the people that are in the chat that are just now joining, I'm drawing um, this this uh, this character. This is from the Ballad of the Celestials uh, comic from uh, Dirk and Murph. This is the character here, and wow. this is uh, cool. I'm drawing. Here is the thumbnail that I put on Twitter. So, so it's resembling a little bit. Um, I'm not sure. I what gotta go more on. This. I don't know, but uh, I don't know if I can. I'm not finding a really good pose with this, but uh, let's, let's continue working on it. Yeah, Rick. Yeah, yeah pose I would love to like people send you a piece of my art because I know you're a big, you're a big fan, and you're a big, uh, a big, big, big fan of CG and. Um, and yeah, man, uh, I wish I could like, because uh, I know you like Ray Tali, and I did that Ray Tali fan art thinking about you. I wish I could send it to you, but it's, uh, but the shipping up is crazy. Um, yeah. Oh, Crudo, how you doing, man? What's going on? Thank you very much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. We say hello to everybody. How you doing, Rick? Rick is a man. And yeah, so um, I'm drawing this character from Dirt and Murph's comic um this is from uh ballad of the celestials this is the campaign page here you've seen this already many times probably and i'm drawing this character here his name is Shh. and these are the two only two reference shots i have of him so i'll see what i can do with that and that's what i'm drawing Ballad of the Celestials is in demand, so you can still grab a copy of this. It can be um, the physical. There's a lot of great stuff to come with this. And, uh, but yeah, that's what I'm drawing right now. Also, uh, my guest is Marv. He's the creator of this comic, The Singular Number Two. Uh, we we're talking about his book and his process and the pages that he's done so far. He's got a lot of work done in it, and it looks really good. I like it. I like the scene and how he does that. And stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's a really interesting story. Really good story. And, uh, and yeah, he is sitting at 712 euros at the moment, and he's got seven days left to go. And, um, and yeah, so almost today. going to print. Yeah, almost going to print. Yeah, definitely. Are you going in demand? Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not because uh, I want to get over or get over it uh, with it. I want to uh, just move on, just like I did with the with the other one. Because I don't want the I want I don't want to think about it anymore. the The first one was done. I move it to this one. This one is done, so I want to finish the campaign, 
uh, you know, send every book to everybody and uh, put, I'm going to have the, the book on the comic book website too. So I will be just chilling and uh, working on the next one. And uh, that's it. I don't want to, I don't want to keep it uh, confusing for me because uh, making a, having a campaign is, uh, is very stressful. Uh, uh, Mike Kimi helped me to make the campaign. He did basically the 99% of the campaign. The only thing that I did it was put the images there in the trailer. Um, so yeah, uh, finishing the campaign, moving on, and that's it. The rest is in the past. Right. Yeah, so seven days and that's it. You can't get it anymore. That's what the man here is saying. Well, wow. yeah, seven days and, and that's it. And uh, people will have some goodies. Uh, people will yeah, have some goodies. goodies. People will love it. I, can, um, I backed the, the first book. I backed the second one also. And uh, in the first one, I got physical art. I got, um, I got traditional art, uh, a, a four piece. I don't have it with me. But I've shown it off before, and it's a really good uh, mm -hmm. artwork from Mark. And um, Hail General, how are you doing? Salute to hey. you, Yeah, the, yeah, Odin, yeah, the, the, the dark atmosphere is all over this book, and it's really good. And um, he's got a really good story with it. I recommend checking it out. I'm ready for my screen Thank drawing. You. Like for me to send it to you? Please? I don't know what you're talking about. Drawings are good dudes. Thank you very much, my sister. Hey, how you doing, uh, 80s? Hello. The thing that I really love that I'm going to do is uh, backboards. Uh, I thought about it a couple of times, and uh, I basically don't see anybody doing it. Uh, I still have uh, bookmarks and stickers and uh, magnets, but uh, it will be cool to have, uh, you know, you have the, the the book and then you turn instead of having the back cover, you you have a, a print uh, in the board. So uh, can't wait to print those. Maybe Friday I will do it if I have the time because I've been doing overtime lately and uh, my leg is killing me. So if I can, Friday I will. Oh, okay. yeah, I had two strokes. Wow. Uh, yeah, two surgeries and uh, yeah, I get uh, I get tired very easily. Uh, my I work always on my feet. I work always on my feet and uh, can be tricky, especially when, uh, especially during the summer because uh, the veins uh, swells a little bit and uh, I have less veins now in my leg than I used to be and uh, than I used to have. And uh, yeah, that's a bitch, but it's worse stuff. Right? Okay, so I want to show you one thing that I got from my chimney. Uh, let me see if I can find it here. I think I, yeah, it's here. Oops. So, oops. I did my first cover for a comic. This is Left on Cora by Mike Chimmy, Lord of the Bruin. And uh, this is one of the variant covers. And uh, this is uh, my very first cover as a comic book artist. Nice. 
Yeah, this is a story. Uh, this is a, a comic uh, drawn by Mike. Uh, this is like a National Geographic Channel type of comic. Uh, you'll travel to uh, Cora, and uh, on each uh, comic, you uh, you'll find out about, you'll learn about uh, a creature. And uh, yeah, I did this. Uh, Horror type uh, come, uh, cover. And uh, Area Black did, did one too, and uh, more people did. And it was uh, lots of fun of doing this. Super fun. And my first credit is a, is a cover artist. Very cool. Your first credit as a comic artist? No, uh, as a cover, cover artist. Oh, first cover. Nice. Yeah, my first credit, my first credit was uh, with Arrow Comics uh, in, uh, an anthology, the Revolt book by Arrow Comics uh, two years ago. That was uh, the first appearance of uh, the Sin Killer uh, in that anthology. Very, very, very cool. Hey, oh. We don't have any doubts about this drawing. Yeah, so we're about to wrap up in a few minutes, maybe in seven minutes. But before we leave, I wanted to show you, uh, um, just inform everybody in the chat that tomorrow I'm going to uh, do another stream. I'm going to have another guest on tomorrow, and my guest is Ardvark. He was here earlier in the. Um, he was here earlier in the chat. I don't know if he's still here now, but um, and tomorrow I'm going to have him on and talk to him about his book that it's soon to launch. It's going to launch the 15th, which I think it's Friday, or I think it's Saturday. Mm -hmm. Saturday. No, and Friday. do you do you do do you have a specific day to do streams or do you do just uh, when you want? Just no, when um, you had the mood to do. We have a specific I'm, I'm day. I'm going to try to be uh, consistent with my streams. Maybe uh, it's going to be during the week, mostly on Wednesdays and Tuesdays um, at this hour. Oh, okay. And uh, okay. Today is going to be about drawing, but tomorrow is just going to be me uh, talking to um, Artvark about his comic. And here you can see it. The mailing list is active, so you can uh, go ahead and sign up for that. And I'll have him on tomorrow, and we'll talk about his comic. Um, I did some artwork for it also. I don't know if it's going to be featured in the campaign. I think it might. Uh, but here you can see, for example, some of the things that are going to appear in his campaign. That looks great. Yeah, he's got a lot of good art. Um, really good stuff. Um, so I'll have him on tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'll have him on tomorrow, and then we'll talk more about that hopefully uh, i'll be at home but uh if not i'll i'll watch the replay for sure yeah, yeah definitely yeah there's no rush there's no problem i mean i know people have things to do and uh, i know that this this uh time in the morning is difficult for many people because it's, everybody has to go to work my schedule is inverted i normally work in the afternoons and so i have mornings off um, mm -hmm. So now that I can do this, I uh, want to take advantage and uh, show people uh, how I my process for drawing. And um, yeah, I think it's going pretty good. And I will be here tomorrow also. Yeah. Uh, I may redo this drawing. I'm having uh, issues, or I'm not too happy about the upper body. I can show everybody. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. It doesn't look like he's doing anything. He's just standing there. Um, I may change it or I may not. I don't know. I'll think about it, take a look at it, and then see what else I can come up with. Um, in the case that I do change it, I might draw tomorrow too. I don't know what um, I don't know what art like. One thing that I, one thing that I've learned when it comes to uh, poses uh, and uh, how to do pinups, uh, male and female, was going back and um, and see like the. The, the, the golden era of uh, female pinups, you know, and uh, the golden age of bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. that, uh, Matt Reeves was one of the the, the guys that I, I don't like the the bodybuilding physique that yeah. started in the late seventies because it's not it's not uh, natural. But if you go back to the 40s and 50s, you know, um, and you see you see those golden era bodybuildings and the poses that they, they did back in the day, and if you go to the to those old movies, uh, those Tarzan movies from the 30s, uh, you will you will find very cool poses during the the movies, and I've learned a lot from uh, from those movies from those. Uh, uh, and from those those uh, magazines that uh, not <laughs> health magazine because they they are the worst, uh, but because uh, you don't learn anatomy from bodybuilding, you just lose it. That's why I don't like uh, '90s. Uh, and forgive me if I'm if I'm being an, an I'm, I think I'm not being an idiot. I'm just saying my my, my giving my opinion. Because I, I, when I stopped, uh, I stopped um, buying comics from Marvel and DC, especially was when, uh, and I was never a big fan of Image, because the bodies were uh, everybody was uh, on growth hormone and steroids, and um, I start, I, I stopped, uh, I stopped uh, reading those books. So I kept everything from uh, the golden and the silver age because yeah. the bodies were perfect. You know, you have athletic bodies, great poses. Uh, Frank Miller, Gil Kane, you know, just Shima, He drew Conan, a big guy, but not a And that's why I love, that's why I love uh, old school comic. But, uh, yeah, I learned a lot from that, from uh, those old magazines, bodybuilding magazines, uh, and uh, the pinup uh, from the when it comes to draw. So the, yeah, I see what you're saying. Where, yeah, I see what you're saying. Like the, the bodies are more exaggerated nowadays, and back in those days, everything was yeah. more uh, anatomically correct. Yeah, and uh, that's that's. Uh, I, I was having problems with that, and I knew that a buddy of mine was having the same problem because we were looking at those, uh, you know, those huge bodies that are not human, and uh, I came back and uh, start looking at old school European and American comics because uh, as you can see a guy who lives in the, in the jungle doesn't have a body like a bodybuilder just athletic yeah, athletic so yeah this is where I find this is where I find my inspiration to when it comes to poses because everything is so dynamic and natural. You can you can see the effort that he's making and you can see the agility that is that he has when he's jumping over that tree. So yeah, it's uh, Yeah, there's a lot of energy emotion 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. All right. So yeah, I um yeah, I didn't like what I was doing before, and as you can see, I just erased almost the whole top half. And now I have him like with his the the top part of his body curved in a little bit. Um I'll see if I can probably exaggerate that a bit more and continue working on this. And uh if it's okay with Arvark tomorrow, I think I might continue working on this tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Uh, but, yeah, that will be it for today, uh, guys. Thank you very much to everybody joining in the chat. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me that yeah, you take your time out and hang out with me and uh, Mark. And, um, and, yeah, so I'll probably do another uh, – I'm going to do another stream tomorrow, and, uh, and then we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll do some more uh, next week, um, for some more fan art. The next fan art piece I'm going to do after this is going to be for Rokon. Um, from Ben mm. and uh, Max Headroom, I've been meaning to do a piece for them for a long time, uh, so I'll, I'll be able to do that after I finish with this. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. Thank you very much uh, to everybody. Um, and Mark, where can we find you? Where, where could you tell us where we could uh, find find you in social media and whatnot? Well, you can find me every Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, I'll be drawing live on the, with my Chimmy, Lorty de Bruin, my editor and friend. We'll be, uh, we are always at Saturdays at that time on the Raising 2 Bo Broadcast Network. Um, you can find me also um, on uh, Twitter. It's, it's a shame that I always forget Twitter. Sometimes uh, people send me messages to Twitter. I don't open them because I totally forgot, forget. Sometimes I I go there because people tell me that, uh, hey, you have a message. I send you a message on Twitter and uh, and I go there. But yeah, I, I'm on Twitter, uh, Marvi. Uh, just a second, the Sin Killer or uh, Gabriel Reaper of Souls. You can find me on Instagram and uh, Facebook. I'm on Facebook most of the time, uh, Marvi, Sin Killer. And yeah, come uh, come hang out one of these days on the live stream with me and Mac Jimmy. If you want to draw something with us, just uh, tell us. And uh, it would be awesome to have you again, Elliot, one of these days. Uh, you're welcome anytime. So uh, yeah, come, come and hang out one of these days with us too. Excellent. And thank you for having me today. Thank you for yeah, having no me. Problem. Thank you for coming by. I really appreciate it. And thank you for showing us a little bit more about your project. And, and yes, quite, uh, yeah, guys, um, uh, you can catch me here on YouTube. You can catch me also um, on Twitter, Instagram, and all of the social media uh, sites. And I'm especially more active on Twitter. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much, guys. I will see you uh, tomorrow. On the next tomorrow one. Tomorrow. <laughs>